Welcome to my channel, Innova World. Hey guys, once again welcome back to my channel. This tutorial will be highly effective for aeronautical and mechanical engineering students and especially those who are preparing for a competitive examination. Today my topic is compressible flow, part 1. If you have further inquiry, you can drop down to my mail to 9489224114 ash at gmail.com. These are the few textbooks from where you can get a little ideas and knowledge from this textbook. Now comes to the topic I will cover in this session. Difference between compressible and incompressible flow, introduction, categories based on speed, compressibility, then isentropic relation and I will solve few MCQ questions. Now comes the defined by the incompressible. So, come incompressible means when the density is constant and the control volume has to remain constant. That is mean by the incompressible flow which cannot be compressed where we can say the density remains constant. Compressible means when the density varies with pressure or other variables. Usually, this compressible flow ranges when the Mach number is greater than 0.3 where we can also say the density is not constant or we can say rho is not equal to C. These are the few examples of an compre uh, compressible flow, a high performance valve, aircraft, supersonic aircrafts and all. So now I will come to the categories of flow for external aerodynamics. So first comes the incompressible flow where the Mach number is less than 0.3 where the change in density is quite negligible and we can say the density is constant. Next category subsonic region or subsonic flow where the Mach number ranges from 0.3 to 0.8. This also comes under the category of incompressible, sorry, compressible flow. Next comes the Mach number ranges from 0.8 to 1.2 we call as a transonic flow. This is purely a compressible region. Then comes Mach number ranges from 1.2 to 3 we call as a supersonic flow where mostly the shock wave appears into the system and it is obviously a compressible flow and the last one is a hypersonic flow where the Mach number is greater than 3 or beyond 5 where the temperature pressure density almost increases randomly across the shock wave. These are the figure if there air is an airfoil or a wage section how the the nature of a shock wave takes place. This is out of scope, so I am skipping this point. Now comes the point of compressibility. When you are studying about the compressible flow, you must be well thought of what is mean by compressibility. So compressibility is a word which is denoted by the letter beta or in some author they have denoted by the word Z. You can follow any one of the convention. So it is a sub substance which is measured using a change in volume under some action of an external forces. So means imagine this is a volume as shown a ball, a spherical ball. Now uh, external forces is applying on it. So there will be when the external forces applying on it. So what it happens? There may be some change in volume. So that is mean by compressibility. Now this what does why does there is some change in volume innumerable innumerable molecular collisions in the entire system or enter fluid which causes a change in volume or change of density but for incompressible fluid the beta is zero 
Now comes a similar concept. The reciprocal of compressibility is known as a bulk modulus of elasticity. This bulk modulus of elasticity is denoted by the letter K. As you can see in the figure, K equals to the ratio between the bulk stress and the bulk strain or it is also denoted by minus del P by del V by V. You can see there. So, it is a reciprocal of compressibility. If the compressibility increases, the bulk modulus will decrease. If bulk modulus increases, the compressibility will increase. Like how it works. Now, what is a unit? For thus, the unit of bulk modulus is Newton per meter square and the compressibility becomes meter square by Newton. How I got meter by Newton by meter square? See here del V by V. Here both we have meter cube by meter cube. So, meter cube and meter cube will get cancelled. So, what will be remaining? This Newton per meter square. So, the bulk modulus unit becomes a Newton per meter square. Next, I will come about the thermodynamic equation state for a gas. For ideal thermodynamic equation comes a P equals to rho RT. What is T? T is a temperature in absolute thermodynamic gas or temperature scale and R stands for a characteristic gas constant. But you have to remember this formula for air, R value goes for 287 joule per kg kelvin you have to remember this formula now i will come to the isentropic and characteristic states so first i will explain what is meant by isentropic process it is a standard process where the frictional effect and heat addition is neglected that means there is no frictional effect and no heat addition and also this process is called as an reversible and adiabatic process. Now, I will generalize this explanation from the graph shown below. In one side there is one reservoir and from the reservoir some amount of fluid is escaping out. So, when the, there is a reservoir that means the water is stored there or saved there that means the fluid velocity is 0 that is why we wrote as V equal to 0 and we have and from the exit of the point when the water is escaping out or a fluid is escaping outside we have a real state. Now I will come to an explanation how we can expose this concept. In a real fluid, the actual pressure, temperature, density, enthalpy, internal energy, entropy, etc. are referred to be static condition, where the associated stagnation parameters are denoted as P0, T0, H0, U0, S0 and Rho0 respectively. So, when the stagnation parameters comes to an point, we denote it by a P0 or some not. What is P0? That is a stagnation pressure. T0 is a stagnation temperature. H0 is an stagnation enthalpy. U0 is a internal energy stagnation. Internal energy you can either use E or U. What is S0? It is an entropy, stagnation entropy. And what is Rho0? Rho0 is a stagnation density. So, the stagnation state is fixed by using the second law of thermodynamics. So, where what we can say this is a statement that is S not equal to S. What is S? That is entropy remains constant. This can be represented by a diagram called as Mollier diagram. Now I will come to the generalized explanation as a energy equation. Recalling this equation that is H1 plus half V1 square equals to H2 plus half V2 square. This is an energy equation. Now in our condition this is 1 this is region 2 now in this condition what we have we let us consider we are considering an calorifically perfect gas where we can replace that cp equals to h dh by dt what means enthalpy by change in 
temperature. So what is dH? dH equals to Cp into dt. So we get this equation Cp T1 plus half V1 square equals to Cp T2 plus half V2 square. Now what you do is H1 plus half V1 square equals to H0 because we are considering this is stagnation point H0 the and V1 0 why because the velocity is 0 over there. So now let us equate this two equation. So we get as H0 minus H1 equals Cp T0 minus T. Why? Because what is mean by H? H means Cp into T0 we took the Cp common so we get as T0 minus T equals to or T1 you can also write equals to half V1 square. So from here what you get take the T1 one side and take other component on other side. So you get this. Now recalling this equation Cp minus Cv equals to R and Cp by Cv equals to gamma. How you can remember this? It is a very easy trick to remember. See both you have Cp and Cv. Now in alphabetical orders Cp come first then V. Right? So likewise you can remember similarly goes here. Cp by Cv. So, you might have a confusion whether for Cv or Cp or like that. So, just remember it is alphabetically come or in order. So, Cp minus Cv is R and Cp by Cv equals to gamma. Now, from this above equation you can also write that R by Cv equals to gamma minus 1. Now, you can replace that the Cp now you have Cp over here. Now from this above equation you can write Cp equals to gamma r gamma r by gamma minus 1. So you apply this value in this previous equation. What you get this? Now rearranging the equation you get this. Now recall a square equals to gamma rt. This is a equation of a speed of a sound. So, A is the speed of sound equals to gamma rt. From here, you apply this value, the gamma rt value in place of gamma rt value, you are going to substitute this A square. You get this. Now, again recalling what is m square that is a Mach number equals to v square by a square. Now, you apply here instead of v square and a square what you get t naught equals to 1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 into m square so this is what your relation that is t naught by t equals to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square now similarly there is also an another isentropic formula or isotropic relation between the pressure density and temperature. So, remember this sequence that P2 by P1 equals to rho 2 by rho 1 by gamma equals to T2 by T1 equals to gamma by gamma minus 1. You might have a confusion, big confusion like how to remember this formula. I will tell you one more trick. 14, one, sorry 1.4. So, first you pressure and the density how they relate in the gamma. What is the usual standardized formula for gamma that is adiabatic constant for air is 1.4 so remember 1.4 and the second one is 3.5 because you if you see in a calculator you can understand maybe your gamma value is given a different value but you remember when the gamma is 1.4 and you get as 3.5 so accordingly you can merge up that is gamma by gamma minus 1 or gamma minus 1 by gamma see if you do a reverse one that gamma minus 1 by gamma you will get some around 0.86 something like that you will get so you can avoid your confusion if you remember like this way is 1.4 and 3.5 so, if you apply that value over here, so you get as P0 by P1, you get as 1, mi 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M1 square, that is gamma by gamma minus 1. And rho, rho 0 by rho 1, you get as 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 by M1 square, 1 minus gamma minus 1. So, if you once you know this relation, uh, once you know the T0 by T value, so you do not have no harm in, dif no difficulty in 
knowing this formula these are the very 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 important formula they ask a frequent question from this formula now it's come for mcq the stagnation properties are used when the value of mac is so this is a stagnation property when used when we use when we are using in a compressible flow so when it is an less greater than 0.4 see here they have non mentioned 3 so it can also range us to 0 0.3 to 0.4 so here you can say as option c what is the compressibility for ideal grass a as a when the incompressible fluid is when uh, the ideal gas means when the beta is 1 so option a which of the following is true about the compressibility of a real gas compressibility of a real gas is cannot for ideal gas the beta value is 1 and for incompressible flow the beta value is 0 for uh, ideal or for a real gas which is any value except 1 so the right option is option D correct relation between the compressibility beta and the bulk modulus k so we know how they are related they are just a reciprocal so beta equals to 1 by k so right option is b next comes the value of modulus bulk modulus of elasticity for an compressible fluid see the bulk uh, i have said the compressible fluid uh, we have a few options sorry the value of bulk modulus of elasticity for an incompressible fluid is zero unity infinity very low so you recall that form what i have said for incompressible fluid the beta value is zero and they have asked a bulk modulus and the bulk modulus and the compressibility are inversely proportional so when we are considering that k equals to one by beta now beta is 0 so 1 something divided by 0 comes infinity so we get the C is the right answer that is infinity here comes 3 fluid 1 2 3 bulk moduli of K1 K2 and K3 uh, if the K1 greater than K2 greater than K3 which liquid will have a highest compressibility see it's a very uh, sweet question or uh, having few options liquid 1 liquid 2 liquid 3 equal compressibility see here see um it's a game of uh, it's a game of uh, bulk moduli and the compressibility so here which one have a low bulk modulity will have a high compressibility so among this concept which have a low high uh, low bulk modulity k3 so k3 when you do inverse of it will be increasing so obviously k3 that means liquid 3 answer c is a right answer if you have further inquiry if you have further request in video you can drop down to my mail to 9489 and if you like my video you can share with your needy friends teachers juniors anyone and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you for watching